What's up YouTube? On this episode of Coddy Wampa Overland, we're going to be getting bougie with Bougie RV. Coddy Wampa Overland is proudly powered by Dan Cummins Off-Road, home of the Lifetime Powertrain. Also in part by Overland Vehicle Systems, Faster Fleet, and Trail Rated Coffee. Be sure to come out and say hi to us at the Moore Expo, April 8th through the 10th in Springfield, Missouri. If you're looking to support our channel, you can find all of our apparel at Long Creek Overland. A few weeks ago, a company called Bougie RV reached out to us and wanted us to do a test and review on one of their new refrigerator units. The unit that they sent to us was the 30-quart unit that they carried. It's a single-zone refrigerator. It's a little bit smaller than the ones that we've used before, and I think it'll work out great for smaller weekend trips. Initial impressions on the refrigerator is it's very well constructed. Um, the fit and finish is real nice on it. All of your controls are up here along the top. Once you open inside, it does have a center divider, um, but it is not a dual zone refrigerator. It is a single zone. And it comes complete with charging packet for your AC or your DC. According to Bougie's website, this refrigerator will go from negative seven Fahrenheit to 50 and it says that it can achieve its temperature in as little as 16 minutes. This refrigerator is designed to be used in vehicles or RVs or something like that. Um, they've also designed it to be very quiet. They say the decibel rating on this when the compressor is running is only about 40 decibels. Hmm. Being that it's designed for a vehicle, they specifically say that it's designed for off-road and it can be tilted up to 30 degrees before it has any problems at all. Just like other refrigerators of this nature, it has three different voltage settings to where you can adjust where you want it to cut off so it doesn't drain your main battery on your vehicle. One of the things that's really good about the Bougie RV products is these refrigerators do come with a two-year warranty. Right now, we don't have a trip coming up, but we've got some close friends, Jeremy and Kim from Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. They're getting ready to make a little bit of a trip and we're going to send this with them and let them do a real world test on what they think about this particular refrigerator. Okay, I'm here with Jeremy from Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. And we're going to give this Bougie RV refrigerator to them to take home and test out for a few days. Jeremy, I know this is the first time that you've seen it. What's your first impression? Well, i got to be honest, it's sexy. Online, I didn't think it would look as good as it does, especially for the price point, but... It actually looks like a very high-end model. Yeah, it, it, to me it looks as good as any of the other refrigerators that we've dealt with so far. I'm pretty excited. All right. Thanks, Cotty Wampo Overland. Well, you're welcome. So what we want to do today, guys, is before we get out on the trail with something and we don't know how it works, we want to test this thing thoroughly in our kitchen. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and we're going to power it with our... Blue Eddy EB70. We've got a full charge on this unit, so we're going to see how long it takes for this thing to heat up to our desired temperature. We're probably going to set it somewhere around 34 um, and see how long it takes to, to cool, you know, to reach that temp. And then we will see how long this Blue Eddy can power this fridge while it's sitting here in the kitchen. Guys, this is day two, and I just wanted to take a moment to show you how quiet this thing is. It is currently pulling 41 watts. And they tell you online that it's 40 decibels, but you know, real folks don't know what that means in the real world. And I can tell you that it is whisper quiet. You can barely hear this thing. All right, guys, I wanted to do a quick cooler update because it is the next day and it's 2.30. Uh, you can see that on the Blue Eddy, it doesn't show any power usage. That's because when the compressor's not on, this thing is using less than two watts. So it is day two. Um, finally caught a moment where the compressor's running on the fridge. So you can see that it is pulling about 45 watts when the compressor is on. When the compressor isn't on, that thing is pulling less than two watts, so it doesn't even show up on the screen. But what I- All right, guys. So, the battery finally died. It is 945. 
So that thing was close to three full days on a single charge. All right, guys, the fridge lasted about 58 hours on DC power. So as you can see, we have recharged the Blue Eddy and we are now gonna plug it in to AC. Uh, in theory, the AC power, and you can see it just turned the fridge on and that interior is about 43 degrees. So in theory, the AC power should last a little less than the DC, but we'll see when this is all said and done. So it is Wednesday, almost four o'clock. We'll see how long it can last. All right, so we just plugged it in on AC power and you can see it's pulling about 29 watts with the compressor on. And again, if I hold the phone here, you can't even hear. All right, guys, I wanted to show you that using AC power, you can see the Blue Eddy is dead now. There's still enough power apparently to keep the display running, but so this is, you can see now it's 1019. So this thing went about 30 and a half hours on AC versus about 59 hours on DC. And I'll show you one of the discrepancies. It's 28 degrees on the display and I guarantee when we open it, it's gonna be about five or six degrees different. And sure enough it is. Well, it's actually nine degrees different, but so what we found is that while this is operating, the gauge and the actual thermometer are about five degrees off. So what we plan to do is when we're on the trail, we're gonna set this thing at about 29 degrees so that it's somewhere in that 34 range. Hi, babe. So first of all, let's say what the temperature outside is. It says it's 26 right, so degrees. It says it's 26 degrees. And the reason we have it set so low is because we ran a thermometer inside of it. And so sitting it at 26, actually the real temperature is about 34 degrees. So this thing, we've had it now for three weeks, two, two weeks, and it has been amazing. How long will the Blue Eddy run it? 60 hours on a single charge. So that's pretty phenomenal, guys. So without- so One thing that we did learn running it in the house is that we did, uh, you do have to kind of play around with the temperature. The temperature inside, is not going to be as accurate as what the temperature on the unit actually reads. So if you wanted to run at 34, you need to set it for 28. Correct. Other than the little bit of temperature difference, this refrigerator seems like a pretty good value, especially for the cost. To make that value a little bit better, we have a 12% off discount code in the description below. We hope you found this review helpful. We also want to thank Jeremy and Kim for field testing this unit for us. Check them out. Until next time, see ya.